Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today is the most awaited room tour of my room. So I'll show you my room. I'll start the video from outside of the dorm. So I'll show you how we enter the dormitory. I'll show you where we do our laundry and all the stuff. And then I'll show you my room and I'll put the timestamps down below so you can watch the pieces that you are interested in. Also, we don't have a kitchen in Chungnam National, Chungnam National University because of COVID-19, the kitchen is closed. So it is not much like the dorm dormitory is not very special but it is what it is and i'll show you i hope you like it because this will be my home for a year and i really like it so i hope you like it as well come with me and let me know in the comments if you enjoy it so yeah let's go so, let's start the video from here this is the way to the west gate and this is the way to the main gate we go to our classes from this side and there is a bus stop there we take the bus the campus bus the bus that goes all around the campus from there and here are plenty of flags there is the flag of india i don't know if you can see or not it's just above the light the indian flag and then here we have a few shops this is the haksing sigdang the student cafeteria just below the dormitories this is the seventh dormitory and below the dorms we have a lot of shops e-marts and stuff inside we have e-mart you can see it from there i guess and then we have ATMs. Wait, let me show you the ATMs as well. Yeah, here we have the ATMs, and there we have the E Mart inside, and here we have a cafe. This is just right below the dormitory. So now we go upstairs to the dormitory building, and yeah, let's go. All of the buildings here are dormitory buildings for international students and few of the national students. Yeah, so yeah, those are the flags. And we have started with the dormitory area. So yeah, these all are dorms. I think the buildings there as well, all are dorms. So this is the boys dormitory, dorm number eight. I don't know about this one, if it is a boy or a girl dormitory, but yeah, this is our building and that is my room the one with two tiny flower pots let's go i have brought my card with me as well so that i can show you how we enter the dorm room it is huge and i think all the gk scholars this year have been given dorm number seven all the female scholars it is too cold yeah so let's go and see what's inside our dormitory okay so we are right outside the dormitory entrance and let's go inside and i'll show you what is inside our dormitory building so yeah come with me and so here we have a temperature checking machine a sanitizer and a notice board which i don't understand now this is where we check our body temperature and after checking our body temperature we need to tap this card here and then the door opens and we come inside so this is me here we have two vending machines i have literally stopped dressing up for youtube videos here we have a microwave and this is the only thing that has been provided because the kitchen are closed here we have all the letter boxes and chairs to wait for a food while it gets warm and this is the view outside now let's go to the laundry machine here we have the lifts this one is for the odd even flows and that one is for the odd flows so that lift does not go to floor number two four six or eight and this one does not go to one three five sorry three five or seven so we take this one and here is the laundry those three are the dryers and this side are all the laundry machines you need to get a card for doing laundry so for card you just put some money in here press that button you'll get a card from here and after that you need to put your card down here and recharge it using this side so this is the card machine for laundry cards and here is the laundry machine everything is written in korean as well as in english so i don't have that much problem so the price for doing laundry for one time is a thousand won which is like 70 75 rupees and this is for ironing so you put your coins here and you press this button and then you can use the iron and these three are the dryers they are huge and the, the process is same for that side and this side so these are the same and the price is same as well 
so yeah these three are the dryers and these all are the washing machines it is not very crowded today because today is a saturday these are windows and now we can go upstairs so yeah this is the lift and now we have to go to the eighth floor Let's go. This is my floor, and let's go. This place is closed. Here we have a sofa, a television, and this is a small balcony kind of thing. So the view is amazing. Obviously, I just love the view. So we don't have balcony in our rooms. This is a common balcony, but since we don't have a lot of people, it's okay. I don't think anyone is there in that dorm that has just been repaired and refurbished. Let's go inside. So as you go inside, my room number is 839. So this, these are all the rooms. And then keep walking, keep walking. Yes, this is my room. you get inside this is where you open your outdoor slippers and wear your slippers this is the gate that i got in from and here we have a closet for our shoes and stuff we have a mess right here so here are the toilet papers or tissue and here we have plastics here i have shoes and down below we have our umbrellas our detergents and cleaning stuff so there's that and then as you get inside this is another umbrella of my friend so this is the cleaning material and then we have a fridge now this is the washroom that's me so inside the washroom here are all our stuff this is my stuff that is my roommate stuff that is my roommate so these are all the stuff that i have in the washroom and then coming out of the washroom going on to the other side we have a tiny fridge now it's full we have finally settled down this is my roommate's side this is my side so let me start i've kept my suitcase on top of my closet and this is my closet which is like literally overflowing with clothes but it's like a disease my shopping disease has got the best of me and now this is my chair this is the octopus that I brought from India. In this box, I have like a lot of useless stuff. Skincare, nail paint, goggles, sanitizers and stuff. So I've kept it there. Now here I have my cameras, my family picture which I took at the airport. A tiny dish that has all my coins. And then this side I have all my skincare stuff, perfume and hair serum and serum. And this is the sunscreen, this is the lotion and stuff. Here I have my lipsticks, eyeliners and all the makeup products. And all of my makeup products are like from India because I don't know if I'll get anything here or not. But yeah. Here I have a sheet mask. Coming down below, I have my water bottle. A few drawings that I just put up. It says, cheers to the miles it took to get here. And then we have my calendar, my laptop, and my pen stand. So yeah, this is my table. This is the chair. It's not much. I don't know why, but I have very less stuff. Now, these are all my books that I use to study and the study materials. Now, coming to the drawers. In this drawer, I have copies, pencil refill, washi tapes, pen, and my pencil box, markers and stuff, mask, and this we got from our university. Let me show you. Yeah, so this is a pen and a mar marker that we got from our university. I have not used them because I like keeping stuff like these. This is what I have going on. So this, these are my notebooks. Look how cute. These are my notebooks here. Moving on to this drawer, we have tripods, wires, scrunchies, earrings and stuff, clips and all that jazz. 
and then in the last drawer i just have like i got this sewing material for times when i need to sew something i have a battery cleaning cloth and this is what we got from niied niied is the national institute of international education this is the gift souvenir i don't know what to call it that we got from niied niid is what sponsors our scholarship so all of the gks students scholars get this this is a present and i don't use presents i just keep them so i have kept them very kept it very nicely but i'll show you it it's beautiful so yeah this i'm sorry for the mess that i'm making but yeah so this is what we were given it's like a notebook kind of stuff but i have not used it and i don't think i will ever use it in my life i just preserve it so yeah wait let me just keep it aside i have cleaning materials this is the wet wipes that again we got from our institute what else do i have here i don't think i have anything else so yeah this was for my last drawer and now let me remove the chair to show you there is my laundry basket and a dustbin so i did my laundry yesterday so i don't have anything in my laundry basket now moving on from this side you can see how much sunlight comes to my bed which is like i just love it so this is my teeny tiny bed that is my kitty friend that i got on the first day when i came here and this is a watch that i thought would look good and was big but i mismeasured so it's just there these are plant hangings that i got from daiso for like 5000 or 3000 won and these are the lights that i got for 3000 won here i have my tote bag and my bag just hanging in there there i have my suitcase there is ac uh this is my bed and just down below i have all the eating stuff so i got a lot of things from india and these are like the things that i need on a daily basis so i have ramen i have coffee i have my lifesaver here says one chutney mixture and stuff so here are all my eating stuff and then because my cupboard is full here are my daily wearing stuff so this is my bed and here we have drawers that i have filled with stuff and here i have my plants this is the arrowhead and this is the peperomia and this is the outside view which is like so beautiful and i'm so grateful that i am on the topmost floor and also because i get a lot of sunlight so i guess that's it wait i forgot about these so yeah this is the light switch this is the ac remote and this is our room heating system so during winters you just turn it on and it starts heating your room so it works like that but because we get so much of sunlight in our room we usually don't need it in the afternoon we just turn it on at night and that's it i guess so yeah that was it for my room tour i have tried to show you everything but if anything slipped my mind then i'm really sorry about that and i hope you enjoyed it and i'm very sorry if the sound was not well in the video because it was my first time filming outside and it was very windy and it was very cold so i don't know if i did well or not i'll find it out while i edit the video but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i don't have a lot of stuff in my room because i like my space a bit spacious i don't know but yeah i like keeping less stuff but i do like hoarding a lot of clothes so my cupboard is full but i don't have a lot of stuff on my table so it's okay i really like it i really like my dorm i really like my room it's not much but it's a lot for me so i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below if you like my room or not and if you liked how i i have decorated my room or not because i love decorating i might hang a few more pictures like here on on this wall but i don't know when i'll be able to do that because i don't have time and i i prefer drawing paintings by myself instead of buying posters and stuff so i'll do it someday maybe let's hope and yeah that was it for today and i really hope you liked it and see you later see you next week so yeah bye